Ladies, gentlemen, gather around the campfire. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to apologise in advance. I'm going to probably get really pissed off while I speak about this because this sort of shit bugs the absolute living daylights out of me. I, I, a little bit uh, of background on me. I love video games, all this shit and the other, whatever. I played loads of them. My opinion on The Last of Us is it the first one was one of my favourite games of all time, especially when I was younger. I played it multiple times. I've completed it on yeah, the hardest difficulty, New Game Plus, everything. I've got Platinums on them. You know, I bought the, uh, the new, new one one for the first last of us because I, I noticed the difference it looked insane and i love the game and you know i asked it for christmas so i didn't have to spend any money on it last of us part two i love and i hate all right i've played it replayed it about three times the first half of the game i think's Im impeccable and then when i get to abby's bit i fucking hate it because i hate abby and then by the end of it i'm like all right i don't mind abby and then when it gets to the final and while i'm about to kill abby i'm like well i don't mind abby but like i don't you know Ali ellie's turned into a bit of a bitch still kind of want to kill abby for joel though so this is the problem I like Lev and all this stuff, but, you know, you did kind of kill Joel in the worst way possible. And the thing that annoyed me is not that Joel died. Not at all. It makes sense from a narrative perspective. I, I, I thought Joel would probably die sooner or later. We either, I probably thought the third game at the time, but I didn't think he'd make it. Uh, the thing that annoyed me the most about it was simply the fact that I was promised in the trailers, in all the, you know, things, they lied to us. If I sold you a product, all right, and it said inside contains three water pistols and a water balloon, all right that sounds awesome if you bought this product and it wasn't a water balloon it was just a piece plastic shit that didn't do anything and the balloon was just a big middle finger you would ask for your money back wouldn't you You would be annoyed because you've just been lied to it's quite normal for when you are lied to or when you don't receive what you were promised to not be very happy it's not because the game's bad it's because you set my expectations to be a when you've delivered on b now that's my problem i have with the last of us part two i think it's an incredible game it looks beautiful whatever what have you i think joel dying was right However, I think they should have done it halfway through the game or something. And then you play as Abby. I'm not a game maker. You know, I'm not a story guy. I get that. I, I enjoy playing stories. And I've played and watched a lot of films and, you know, played a lot of games. So I understand a good story. I just feel like it's a good story. You know, I get what they were trying to do. But they should have maybe... Not lying. Not lying. Yes, Joel's this character that is not a good guy. However, you're in a shit world with shit people. At the end of the day, no one really goes, wow, Joel's a bad guy. Fuck me. Get him in prison. You know, everyone understands why he's done what he's done. And the problem is, we didn't really... We we still don't understand well we understand why abby did what she did obviously but we haven't had a full game of playing as abby to fully understand it anyway i've just completely given you a complete breakdown on what i think of the last of us but my point is this shit pisses me the fuck off video games and gaming is taking a turn for the worst because game developers can't last three years without shitting out the same content but just adding an extra 20 dollars on or pounds whatever you fucking smoke in the morning this is infuriating i'm livid how can you bring out the last of us part two right Remastered when it looks the exact same. That can't be the same picture, can it? I've just watched both trailers back to back. You cannot tell the difference. It's just so weird. Cannot tell the di new content though. New outfits. You could dress up as this fucking spaceman. Oh, you can dress up as Abby Hobo version. Lost levels. Wowza. Look at this. You get two extra levels of shit. Holy shit, guys. Go back a minute. No way. You could spend $70 and play a fake guitar. Oh my god. I'm getting it. I'm sorry. I, I must have missed this bit when I first watched the trailer. This is just, this is my life complete. This is a dream. Imagine this. They left it out of the original game and they just go, yeah, in three years time, boys, what we'll do is we'll bring out the same game. We'll just pretend we've added some new levels, but really it's just going to be the same shit just on the opposite side. And what we'll do, we'll allow people to play as Joel. You know, like we promised originally, but instead we killed him with a fucking golf club, like prick. And then, but don't worry, you can still play as Joel, so we didn't lie, but you could just play with him as a guitar. What a load of absolute horse manure that is. No return, what's this? A roguelike survival mode. See, that's just maps we've already played. These are just maps we've already played. It's lazy. Oh, you could play as Dina. Thank, oh my voice. You could play as Dina. Fucking hell, that's what I've always wanted. To play as Dina, the character who is likeable, but I don't really care. The point of this is the state of video games these days. I love The Last of Us. However, I don't feel the need to go out and spend if it is $70 full price I swear on my life, someone better shoot that fucking Neil Druckmann in the face. Obviously that's not real. Don't shoot anyone. Shooting is bad, except Nazis. Shooting Nazis is good. However, if he charges $70 for this dog absolute... Yo, 
would have tried. Same game, same disc, just got PS5 on it. It's not remastered, you donkey. I played it on the PS5. It looks beautiful. You don't need to go out and spend it. It's an absolute farce. We've seen it with games like Spider-Man, which actually look different, but you got to pay 70, 70 bucks, 50 bucks or whatever to have 60 frames. 60 frames. No, I know nothing about game design. I'm not going to pretend I have any idea about much, but game design is certainly not something I know about, all right? But surely you just have to, like, flick a switch, you know? Yeah, you can do it on PC. You can do it on fucking other consoles. Just flick the switch up, bro. Click it, you know? And then to say, oh, here's $70, but you can dress up as a fucking astronaut. Oh, brilliant, guys. Yeah, thank you, Neil Druckmann. Yeah, why don't you take a tip, mate? Here's an extra $50, mate. Just take 300 bucks, mate, for it. Why the fuck? And I can play his guitar as Joel, mate. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Get, got it straight in my fucking basket there, mate. Now, I know what you might be thinking. I'm getting a bit overreactive, but what would you rather have? The Last of Us Part 2 remastered, 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 or The Last of Us Part 3? Uh, well, uh, let's have a think, Naughty Dog. You know, you're a small, well, you're not a small studio, but you take your time bringing out games, all right? You like to work on them for a long time. You've already got a Last of Us, you know, multiplayer nonsense coming out because you're greedy and you wouldn't give it for free in The Last of Us Part 2, all right? Now, you have then made The Last of Us Part 2, Part 2, you know, and just plumped out the same, you know, enjoyable game. Don't get me wrong, I'm not shitting on the game. It's the principle. These guys have no respect for the people who give them the money. And look, if you're rich and you can go buy and this, then this is not for you, mate. But others, even if I was rich, mate, I would be so reluctant to give corporate pigs like Neil Cookman and all them Nazi monkeys in suits any more of my hard-earned cash just to dress up as an astronaut and see Joel's get his head caved in for a fifth time. You know what I mean? That shit's traumatic. Once I see this part of the game, I have to bloody go, you know, for a few days I'm a bit like, fucking hell, that was rough, wasn't it? Because it's rough. You've killed my favourite video game character of all time. And you go, yeah, by the way, uh, uh, well, to make up for it, why do you go and play, um, uh, you know, with a guitar with him? Yeah, is that alright? Is that alright? No, it's not alright, mate. It's not alright. I don't want to play his guitar. I want to play his Joel and kill Abby. I am afraid that is not possible. That's what I want. Again, I like Abby as a character, can I just say. I just prefer Joel. So at the same time, when you say, oh, well, it's a game about forgiving, you know what I mean? Vengeance is bad. And you just keep going, bitch, I do not give a fuck about forgiveness, bro. Forgiveness is whatever. This is about revenge, all right? Abby got her revenge. I want my revenge, all right? And again, I like Lev, all that good stuff. I really do. I think they're great characters, and I enjoy their story by the end of it. During it, not at all. By the end of it, I go, yeah, that was Enjoyable. I'll give you that. At the same time, I love going in the Firefly building and playing the new remastered, remastered version on the PS5. I made sure to kill every single one of the Fireflies. I'm grounded. It took me forever. I didn't have enough bullets. I didn't have enough anything to kill them. What I had to do was just hide for ages and then kill them all. And then I was like, yeah, satisfied. I don't know no girl. I then burst into the building and... Poof, poof, Shot every one of them. Every one of them. And why did I do that? Just because I'm a bitter, sour old man. I think this is a principle. They have no respect for gamers like us who don't have millions and millions of pounds. The rising cost of everything from just driving to work to getting just eating food, even to water bills, electricity, whatever you want to say, is all going up. And now they want us to actually go and give them another. I bet it's 70 bucks, 70 dollars, 70 pounds, whatever. It's going to be 70 G's, not grand. And you're going to have to pay that. Is that okay? Absolutely not. It's an absolute joke. And it really angers me. Anyway, I love you all. God bless. Love you and leave you. See you later.